package again. And it's uh, time for us to kick some ass. Let's see, elite it ass. To reach there. That's it. We could kill the elite here, but I'm not sure what would be the real benefit of that. I'm attacking these mainly because uh, they're when we go to the <laughs> illicit compound door, they're going to start attacking us anyway when we attack the illicit card in there. So it's better for me to. You fight like children. Uh, uh, Myra is immune to my slashing damage. Yeah, they are using normal weapons. Unless taken to over 20 points of damage with a single hit, they aren't doing shit to me. It's not exactly a huge boost. But it might mean in a top fight, we can ignore certain targets. Which should provoke pro another little boost to our survivability, and that's about it. Hmm. I want more hitting power. As you wish. Done. Yeah, he bailed. Fighter thralls are certainly blocked. Maybe I should try to get rid of the giants. You fight like children. Uh, enough. Yeah, they're hitting me. You fight like children. They aren't doing damage. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, mosquitoes. Uh, you fight like. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Uh, mosquitoes. Fine. They're doing damage here and there. Okay, what was that? Critical hits. Yeah, they're critical hits. They just do so much damage, it uh, overcomes the damage resistance. They're still there. Probably made what could have been a very deadly fight, another very deadly fight for us. Basically, a uh, cakewalk. I think we're you know, starting to missing too much. You fight like children. Against soft targets, it's non-fighter classes. It's good. You work also fairly well against barbarians, but even there, it could have gone either way. So oh, we lost about 30 hit points in this entire couple of fights here. So I'd say the damage reduction certainly is quite beneficial. Huh, 
take it all. And we didn't even use our shifting ability. So that's another 50% reduction. If it need be. <sighs> Fine. Smack whom? Crap. I think we're dead. We failed the saving throw and yeah. Let's end of it. I really should try some stunning tracks or no well, and at some point quivering palm on the mind players. But we just need to get them out of the fight very fast. Even though we have great saving throws, we also have a terrible terrible luck in these critical situations quite often. Fine. Yeah, they don't have. We can't talk to him now because he's stunned, so there's no. No one's reacting hostile to us. Ah, that's better. The fi Drow Fighter Troll were the one things that hurt us, actually. They are doing acid damage. Take it all! I think it really matters who we hit at this point. Just beat down someone. They're not hitting us all that often and when they do we resist the hits. You fight like children. I think Drow have some kind of special ammunition, so that's why I'm covering them as targets. Minotaurs, on the other hand, I don't think have anything, so... Yeah. I have to say, with the... Level 20 upgrade, our survivability is kind of what we need. I wonder how... Yeah, I need to... Have some kind of check on the how we are getting armor class bonuses. Yeah, okay. Natural armor class 10 when increased plus 1 for every 5 levels. So we'd have to get to level 25 to get another boost, and that's very, very unlikely. So it's about 30 at the end of the game without boosts. Um, wonder if we can. What? Um, this? No, 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 no. Is that P that? Yeah, just have to go into supper at these. But we can sneak around, so it's just not that big of a deal. Rations, rations, no rations. No way to communicate with the thralls. I 
think if we attack the brain while these are here, they'll join the fight. These have terrible save, uh, and I'm stunned. Mind Blast, saving throw, one. It's a critical goddamn failure again. It's a five percent chance of that happening, but against the Mind Flare, it seems to be happening pretty much every time that's happened so far. So I'm pretty upset about that. Smack. Feels a bit unfair, but that's how it, somehow that's how it goes. <sighs> and the same conversation again. Never have it too many times. Another critical miss is some of the stunning strike. Another critical miss. This time, every time we try the stunning strike here, critical miss. Taste my fury. Completely get what they're trying to do. These guys are fairly vulnerable to the stunning attacks. Amazing mental powers. Terrible 42 saves. Critical miss. God damn it. That is very annoying. Not the plane shifting. Plane shifting just seems sensi sensi sensible to me. They have the ability to travel to a uh, well. Plane shifting, if that says this is all. So why would they, when they're about about to be killed, stay there and be killed if they can uh, have the means to try to escape? It's not a simple thing, but surely it's worth trying. I think that might be the last of the mind flares. Still, the elder brain is going to be a top one for us. It's save or die very, very often. Or save or lose in our case. Probably some kind of stunning effect and then it's over. I'm going to try the quivering palm, the bastard. I wonder if you can stack Quivering Palm and take it Stunning or Strike. 
one way to test it. You fight like children. You fight like children. They seem to stack. Well, he's stunned. And he's dead. <laughs> Whoa. Mages. They're low level mages, that's why they have terrible trouble trying to hit me with their spells. It's the caster level that determines how well they do it, not the type of spell they use. Beat the shit out of everyone. Take it off. I feel the game would have been more like this with a better choice of a sub race to start. Enough. Not quite like this, oh, yeah. but still. Taste my fury. Enough. Just aren't gonna get anywhere with this. Mosquitoes. Their hits are too weak to punch through. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. I don't think we got any experience from the Elder Brain. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. I don't really expect we'll uh, us getting much experience from fighters. Bosses naturally will be exceptions, but even then, uh, not much. It needs to be something on the level of an iron golem to really offer anything anymore. Enough. I never liked this uh, type of a system in a game. I mean, if uh, I I'm not a huge fan of an experience point system point for killing people in general, but I feel if someone goes out of his way to just fight, he should be rewarded from this because this really feels it is totally pointless fighting and meaningless in every way. But now that I don't even get anything from it, it's feeling is even higher than it would be usually. Usually it's something that might come up, but you can shrug it off. It's uh, you get things, so it's not that it doesn't feel that strongly there, as long as it doesn't keep on for long. But now that we don't really get anything, no blue, no money, no items, no experience, it, it's a uh, it is exactly that. Uh, just a swarm of enemies on top of you with no real tactics going on and <sighs> the area itself uh, is a ta sort of a tactical puzzle and how do you want to address it 
but the fights on themselves there really aren't and it's the AI luckily I, I still don't feel this is one of the worst areas where that's affected it is very unique you if you just look at it you immediately know what level it is there aren't that many fights there are just few protected areas that you can easily avoid if you want to we didn't have to kill the thralls we were just lately left there was nothing to be gained there But it, it at the same time, the solution is there, but it's uh, it's unsatisfactory, because, uh, probably because of the same reason. Your alternative solution to the boredom, sort of, that the encounters provide, because of a lot of reasons, is that you just skip the content. It's a it's a solution, but it's a, it's a terrible solution. You shouldn't be willing to take. I want to see. These aren't that hard to even kill. Enough! You fight like children. I think they're basically iron golems with a special like ability. Yeah, worth experience. <gasps> Oh my god. More than mm, might be able to take on one before we start to get into a big trouble. I don't know yeah, there aren't that many of them here. Okay, it'll take about three to four rounds for us to kill one of these. We could take on one more. That's probably the full extent of them. About three or four. Things like that. Yeah, this is the last we can cut, take you down. Fight like children. And this is uh, a little bit troublesome. We need about sixteen thousand to reach next level. Still, we got uh, an extra thousand out of this, I think these. There might be one more. Hey, what did we get? Master Wood Bell Axe. 
we didn't improve the original design in any way because we suck. Uh, let me just take it down. Yes. Well, uh, I was sort of careless with the trap because usually traps aren't much of an issue for us. Until you die from one. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, 70 days later. Clock, very valuable bullets, and and though I don't know if we have any, as in even one good item we want to buy. We still could use some money. I think the three mind golems probably all there was. Never got the impression that there were all that many of them. Yep, yeah, we're done. Ah. I've used the other door. Yeah, two mages, four elementals, and about seven to eight harpies. We're going to need to shift our items. Panic effects on some of these is still still something we might suffer from. Ah, bullshit. Yeah, taste fury. Taste my fury. I don't think they're up to the job. Like half a dozen levels too early for me. RPs are probably closer to 15 levels too, too early for me. We killed them long ago already. At least the earth elementals can bypass my damage resistance. So, what we're going to do is do the stunning face covering palm combo and try to take out one of the mages. Doesn't matter which one succeeds, that's death. Um, probably should take that one. I think I'd like to hit him.
you have to save. It doesn't seem to matter much to her. Uh, she has iron skin. Yeah, it's not gonna protect her. What? Yeah, power attack would be feasible against trash like this. Doesn't matter what protections you have. I'm doing so much damage with my fist now that your iron skin uh, or stone skin isn't gonna do shit. It's not protecting him really. What protecting him is that we had terrible attack rolls. this some kind of ring Lepra spore grazers another cloak potentially always welcome the current one isn't exactly great and fire resistance Sucks to be you. Hmm? Fine. I'm very small. Yes, you are. I'm so small that no one can see me. Hmm. I can see you. Oh, your eyes must be very. S Uncle Oswald says that it's because of air pressure that was on. Uncle Oswald said it's pretty. It Uncle Oswald said that some. Ah! Oh, it's you. I thought those harpies would be the death of me. Isolor sent me to. My head won't fit in the root jar. Yes, Merrily, that's very interesting. I told her that her head was too small for her age. Now she tries to fit her head in everything. Yes. In any event, as I was saying, Isolor sent me the Archdruid. I mean, Isolor didn't send me the Archdruid. Isolor is the Archdruid, and he sent me here. Woo. So, all aboard? Yeah, can I look at your potions? Ah, yeah, I've got those potions. Do you have anything decent this time? He has all the same crap we've been shoving on onto him. Which is just fine. Want some more? Ah, finally a chance to get rid of the arrows. Aluminum and the uh, Algul charm. Yeah, the prices look about right. Mm, crap. Identification needed. Uh, 
I wish I could just identify things directly from the container. Oh, there you are. Are you ready to go yet? And... Can you actually identify everything I have? Mirabel's pendants. Knowledge plus three arcana. Yeah, probably don't need that. Staff, I don't care what it does. We don't need that. Rope, razor plus three. Can't use this. Mission reduction five slash plus one. We have better. Ring of strength. Constitution one, strength one. Um. Hmm. I can't see this being too useful. Just on. It's. The constitution will be wasted on us no matter what, and the strength is too. The strength might have value at some point. It's. It's not good enough. Has it resistance? Oh. The value is. I don't get it why these are so valuable. The spell. Yeah, six acid resistance. That's a it's sort of more understandable. It's still not good, but it's something. Three is just three is less damage than the basic damage of a dagger. That's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. Even a first level version of a some kind of a damage spell like this, it's not enough to even block that. I just don't get why they're so terrible. Uh, the real uh, only reason we might use this is to when fighting against a acid wielding dragon. Here, here's the thing. Is the three point difference going to make a difference? No, it is not. I have 75,000! <laughs> Surprised Oswald has the money as to afford all this. Although, we have the means to build an airship, so. Be rich. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it this way for, uh, for something so I can identify all of them at the same time. Need to move something to the backpack. Can't move that. Okay, temporarily come to the container. Oh, there you are. Dagger, arrows, bullets, great axe, bolt, and spear and bracers. Bullet plus three, yeah, we'll use that. Ice pick. 50% chance of, yeah, we have better. Not saving the frost bullets. Uh, I'm not saving them. It, I'm not saying they couldn't be useful, it's just that we can't save everything, otherwise we're just going to be having an inventory full of ammunition. Corrosive bolts plus one. Yeah, acid damage. No, definitely save those. Razors of defense plus four. So, my mother... Yeah, we have 100,000 again. <sighs> Nothing of really interest. Uh, I think I have potions of anti venom or something like that. Antidote potions just go away. Clear purpose. Constitution minus two. Yeah, how about new? Okay. 
Let's go. Oh, there you are. Are you ready to go yet? We're ready to go. Excellent. Just let me adjust a few things here and merrily get into the restraining jacket and put your helmet on. The other way around. Yes. All right. Here we go. Another chapter done. At long last, my uncle brought the adventurers to Kaldahar. I wish they had seen our village in happier times, after the Legion was no more, after all Kaldahar and her enemies had all been reconciled. What they came into was a barren village, its citizens driven out for fear of death or worse at the hands of the Yanti and their allies, the Legion of the Chimera. I remember brief periods of my childhood, traveling with Uncle Oswald in his airship, sitting on the knee of Isalor as he told us how the flowers grow. But I remember nothing more vividly, with more palpable reality, than the sight of the great oak's roots hacked from their mother trunk. To this day, when I am ill, I sometimes see those bleeding stumps in my fever. The pain exceeds the illness threefold. No man, woman, or child raised in Kaldahar during that time can forget what they saw when we returned to our village. Victory meant nothing to us. Well, it meant that you only got to see hacked off roots instead of uh, the entire tree destroyed, so... It was bad. It could have been worse. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? I don't have any bumps on my head this time. Oh, be quiet, you. And while I'm talking to the nice adventurers, the magic of the sacred relic of... Well, you could tell... She didn't always live with me. That... That she... Well, it's a watchtower. It used... He's a sour grape. His parents were cute. <gasps> Was it this undead? Yeah, undead. That's the one. As you wish. Who wants to get the shit kick out of them? <sighs> Fine. Don't raise your hands. Yeah. I don't think the whites have what it takes, but who am I to judge? Everyone gets the feast who comes and comes and asks for it. Uh, mosquitoes. Yeah, I'm I'm resisting at least these guys. I mean, but there's a huge ton of undead here. I think a massive amount. And some of them will have level trading abilities and all that. So I guess this is uh, choose your place to fight. Some kind of a dead end like this might be the best best thing for us. <sighs> anyway, why can't I say we'll tackle this some other time?